DIY, what you're going to want is you want pipe straps, smaller screws for the pipe straps. You're going to want a pipe flange, a pipe cap, and the pipe itself. Then you're going to want screws to adhere through the pipe flange to the wall, and you're going to want your drill. And obviously a board of your choice that you would like to put on your wall, and you can stain it any color that you would like. A flange, this is what's going to adhere it to the wall using a screw that has a wider top to it. And you also want to make sure your screw is long enough to not only go through your drywall, but also into the stud. Then that's what's going to give you your strength for the shelf itself. And then you're going to want a pipe and you're going to determine the size pipe that you want depending on the size of your board. Here this is a one by eight, which only measures out to be um, seven and a fourth. So I'm using an eight inch pipe. What I'm going to, how I'm going to attach the shelf to um, the pipes without them moving. I picked up these, they're called pipe straps and they came in a pack. I'm just going to be using one of these and basically going to use uh, some smaller screws to plug into that. Make sure the screw size that you're going to be using will not go through your piece of wood down here. So make sure that the length isn't too long. And that's how it will hold to the shelf. And then the shelf will obviously be held to the wall by these. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your end cap and screw that on and screw on the back. And this is what it's going to end up looking like underneath the shelf. This will adhere just like this underneath the board. And then when it's flipped over, this is what yeah. you will end up seeing just like that. Okay, you're going to want to find the spot obviously on the wall that you're going to want to put your shelf. So play with it and see what height that you would like your shelf at. I have little ones, so I needed my shelf to be slightly higher than I would abnormally like, but I wanted to be able to also fit a chair underneath. So once you have that, go ahead and mark the height with a pencil on the wall. Once you have that, then go ahead and find the stud. You can simply tap on the drywall and find the stud, or you can use a stud finder. Um, either way, a stud finder is obviously a little easier. Once you have that determined, go ahead and take your pipe that's already screwed together and everything, and then take your pencil and mark it on the wall with the little holes inside the pipe flange part. And then you're just going to take your longer screws and screw it right into the studs. Super simple. The first one's obviously a little bit harder, um, but if you have somebody to help you, it's a little bit easier. Once you have that first one on, go ahead and add your shelf back and then put the level on it. That way you can see um, what part is going to be level. And I would suggest having your other pipe um, on there. That way you can put it underneath. And then you're also going to take your pencil again and go ahead and mark those holes underneath with your pencil. That way you know exactly where you need to screw your screws into the drywall. And then go ahead and take your level off and you're also going to want to take your shelf off too. Then go ahead and take your other pipe and put it um, on there and line up wherever your hole is. Put your screw in there and then go, go ahead and screw that one right into the wall. I went ahead and just put a screw in the top and the bottom and I left the left and the right uh, two holes in the flange empty because there's no stud there so it's not necessary to put a screw in there. Once you have that all done, go ahead and put your shelf on there and then take your level and go ahead and put that on top and then you obviously it should be level if you did all your markings correctly and it is. So once you have that, then go ahead and measure also on the outside of the flanges. Uh, you want it to be equal on each side, at least for me I like symmetry so I went ahead and lined those up. Next, you're going to want to take those pipe covers that we had from earlier and you go ahead and measure on each side what the length from the wall to the pipe cover is and then go ahead and use your smaller screws and go ahead and screw those right into the shelf. Go ahead and pull down on the shelf though, that way the screw actually will go into the wood and you're going to repeat that on both sides. And now your shelf is completely secure. It's not going to go anywhere. And I absolutely love the way it came out. So here, this is the view that you end up seeing. You can paint the pipe covers black if you wanted to. 
I just went ahead and left them but this is how it turned out really really like it and then I went ahead and just showed you how I was decorating it and I actually just redecorated it again for spring slash Easter so if you would like to see that you can watch my Easter and spring home tour that I already have up for you thank you guys so much for watching I hope this pipe shelf DIY was really uh, informative for you and I gave you everything that you needed to make it let me know if you decide to make any and make sure you tag me on Instagram I'd love to see your work if you enjoyed be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't done so please subscribe thank you guys so much for watching I hope you have a beautiful blessed day and I will see you guys in the next one bye